But let's go back to COVID because back early they said, okay, here is the high risk population, advanced age, obesity, type two diabetes, cardiovascular disease. You know, um, now men were, were in that as well, but you know, hypertension, uh, chronic respiratory disease, chronic kidney disease, cancer, immunosuppression, all of these were associated with high risk in those diagnosing or contracting COVID. Almost every one of these is strongly associated with low vitamin C. The only one that's moderate is hypertension, advanced age, strongly associated with low bifidobacterium, obesity, type two diabetes, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, chronic respiratory disease, chronic kidney disease, cancer, immunosuppression, smoker, smokers, it's limited evidence, but otherwise all of that strongly associated with low bifidobacterium. Now, association doesn't equal causation, but definitely check out the evidence supporting those uh, associations because what, what I'm trying to say here is there's a connection to the gut microbiome. And I think you found the connection there, vitamin C to bifidobacterium. And here that connected back to COVID and it's like, holy crap. It's like, you just start connecting these dots. And I think that's how major change happens.